Jason, how do you sum that one up? Yeah, disappointing. Well, we just, yeah, I don't know. We 30, 30, 33 minutes, 6-4. It's a great contest. Uh, two teams going at it. And then, you know, two tries before half time really deflated us. You could feel that. You know, we addressed that at half time and just didn't come out. You know, physically, they were better than us and, and running through us. You know, we, was, we just got a much, we weren't meeting the physicality of the game and um, the scoreboard got away in the end. What was going on out there, Cam, from your point of view? Um, yeah, I thought Coach summed it up pretty well. Just, I thought we started pretty good and then, uh, yeah, just errors sort of led to errors and then a lot of fatigue and we weren't able to defend our errors, so it was just disappointing. It was a win last week. Was that the worst? Like, was that the worst performance out of the losses that you've had this year for you, JD? Oh, I don't know. To be honest, it's it's just periods. There's moments in the games, you know. And when you're competing against good sides like that, like the, you've got to be able to be a bit more resilient, win those moments. And we weren't tonight and today. You know, like I said, at six four, we got to we got to defend our trial line and hang in there. And we go in eighteen four and. And we don't start well in the second half. You know, there's some moments there just defensively play four and five where we just got to keep our ruck together, and it doesn't happen. You know, and then that puts pressure on our attack and snowballs from there. And then we front load our energy and try to get some effort in, and you know we create some opportunities and we can't catch a ball. Like it's just, like I said, uh, it's we just got to win more moments, at key moments of the game than we did today. What's it going to take to start it, JD? Like you've done a few men with injury. Can you even make that many changes? Do you think, like, what's the situation? Do you feel? Oh, well, like I said, in the change rooms, we got to, we got to have seventeen blokes that want to put their bodies in front and meet the physicality of the game, and and consistently while they're out there. You know, there's periods of time where we're doing it, and then we're not doing it. And the good sides just don't do that; they stay at it the whole time. Um, and you've seen at the start of this season that when the game starts flowing and the and the ruck gets quick, teams are leaking points, you know, quickly. So, you know, that's something that we've got to address. And I said, like I said, when the starting middles are on, we control the middle third a lot better than we did when our interchange came on. And that's something we need to look at. Speak. What, Jim, what do you make of the two incidents Latrell was placed on report for? One, the, the forearm to the face of Johnson, and then the second, the, the tip on Tohu Harris. Oh, they're both, they're both just stupid things. You know, they're just, you know, just got to be better. Simple as that. When, when do you think? I mean, it's not the first time Latrell's got himself in, you know, the wrong side of things with referees. Frizzell last year, go all the way back to Joey Marnie. When's the penny going to drop with him? Because he didn't need to do those things when you're out there. Yeah, you feel like those it's... conversations through the week, it's not something for me to talk about now. As a group, we'll be honest, as we do every week, and uh, have a look at the things we need to be better at. But there's some key there are moments I'm talking about as well, you know, giving the ball over. When we've got the ball, is not what we want to be doing. But there's several of those moments from that too many blokes are coming up with. Cam, do you have to chat with him as captain? Because obviously he's trying to come up with a big play to inspire the team, but he is crossing that line a bit too much. Do you chat with him as the leader of this team? Um, Latrell, he, he's pretty, he's got some good self-reflection and he knows, he normally knows what he needs to change before anyone tells him, so. Um, but yeah, passing by conversations won't hurt, so. Um, pretty fresh after the game now, but something to think about over the weekend, I think. How does he reflect on it, Jason? Like, I know you haven't had a lot of time to speak to him this yet, but he knows pretty quickly when he's done the wrong thing, and in that moment, he could tell. Like, does he take it hard on himself that he's making these brain snap moments? Yeah, I games? think it's, like I said, it's, it's balance and emotion over the getting our jobs done, you know, and, you know, the desire to want to compete but also controlling the emotion side of it. And that's at the forefront of where we're at at the moment. You know, we're, and, you know, big part of why we're, we're losing our focus is because we're carrying our divots. You know, we did a great job last week. You know, we didn't, I think we had 97% completion rate. I mean, we'd be lucky if it was over 50% today, you know, and then even every time we did get some momentum, we spilt the ball. So it's not on Latrell. There's the things Latrell needs to be better at, but there's a hell of a lot of other blokes in there as well that need to be better. Really disappointing moment at the end of reserve grade today with Lockie. Can you give us an update on, on how he is? Yeah, uh, I think they're talking about a tibia fracture, so you'll obviously have to get scans and then we'll know more about it. But yeah, it was yeah pretty sad to see. 
What did you make of the tackle? I saw you walking with him down the tunnel after the game. Did you have a view on him? I think it was a pretty dangerous moment. I, I didn't see the tackle. Um, I was in the change rooms. I'd heard Lockie had hurt himself, so I'd come out to make sure and see he's all right, first and foremost. But, yeah, from what I heard, it was ordinary. But, like I said, I didn't see it. So I'm sure the match review committee will look at it in New South Cup. JD, what's your message to Dean Hawkins going forward after the, the Lockie Elias um, incident today, obviously people will draw a line between one incident and another bloke you know, being locked in in their eyes going forward so what's your message to, to Dean? Oh, Dean, Dean for me, he's, he's one kid who's he's meeting the physicality, his defence was excellent again today, he's out there he's, he's getting his body in front, he's defending well um, but you know, we're putting too much pressure on a young half and, a, and an inexperienced half by physically not meeting the middle third of the field and that, that's the bottom line yeah, he's he's a young half who's learned his craft. Uh, expect him to play off the back foot. I can't remember how many times we caught the ball inside our own 10 metres in the corner pocket. You know, you've got to give a lot of credit to the Warriors. They were outstanding today in how they did that. Uh, we didn't, we weren't resilient enough or physical enough to, to restrict those metres. Um, and it was one-sided in terms of field position. Jay, they might be quiet to start. Do you fear the season's starting to get away from you a little bit? Oh, we definitely need to pick it up, yeah. We need to, but you know, our main focus now is reviewing this and getting ready for next week. You know, we can't look too far ahead. You know, the season can change quickly with some with three or four wins in a row. But our focus now is being honest with this, owning it, and getting ready for next week.